So hello, Namaste, Sashrikal, wanna come to all the beautiful people out there. This is Vivas here, back with another video. And this time we are going to talk about safety while riding. We will cover various aspects as to what you can do or what can be done to ensure maximum safety while you uh, go on highway rides, especially. This is a generic video. This is not a specific video to highway riding. This is a generic video which will include city riding and highway riding. Overall, it's a video about the safety aspects for a biker or for a rider. So let us jump right in. For any rider or for any biker, the first and foremost priority would be safety. Wherever you would like to ride, whether it be city, whether it be highways, safety is the first and foremost priority or it rather should be the first and foremost priority for any rider, be it a city rider or be it a highway rider. We will discuss as to what are the aspects and we will look at various equipment that can increase the safety aspect of your riding, of course, which would include following the traffic rules and regulations. Most of the accidents that happen is due to negligence or people not following the uh, traffic rules and regulations on the roads if you follow the traffic rules and regulations most accidents that occur can be avoided there is little to no regard to follow traffic rules especially in India but due to the social revolution or the social media uh, revolution that is coming on many people many people are following traffic rules because they know they are getting recorded breaking rules so that has changed a lot and also with it uh, the mindset of the people needs to change I mean they should start following traffic rules not only for their safety but also for the safety of the opposite person following traffic rules and regulations is an important aspect but that is another topic for another day now let us discuss the most important security equipment that a rider can wear to avoid any grave injury that would be none other than or nothing else than the helmet of a rider the most important aspect of any rider be it a city rider or a highway rider we will discuss the importance of wearing a helmet and what people think or the ideology of people on wearing helmets so the indian helmet market can be categorized into three categories one is is the cheap ones or one is the one which can save you from a chalan but not a bike accident and that is not recommended to anybody i would not recommend those types of helmets to anybody spend some extra bucks and buy a good helmet i mean a helmet which is good enough for city riding conditions these helmets are dead cheap you get them say starting at 200 to say five to seven hundred rupees they do not meet any safety standard by any means if you are planning to buy an helmet i would request you please please do not buy these types of helmets the ones that you get uh, on the roadside do not buy from those vendors yes of course you know they are earning their livelihood by selling those types of products but you are jeopardizing your safety by bu buying those kind of helmets you can say steelbird studs vega for that matter these are the helmets that i would recommend you know they provide uh, safety standard to some extent in the city riding conditions so bikers or riders please be aware about this and make sure that you ride or make sure that you wear proper helmet while riding so i have seen these roadside helmets you know they have the isi mark on them however i can say or i can assure you that this or these standards are fake they just stick a cheap sticker onto these helmets and sell you these helmets in the name of being branded or in the name of being marked with isi the second one would be of the normal category which everyone needs to and should wear because you cannot achieve great speeds in uh, city traffic conditions or city riding conditions the helmets or the brands that come under this category are the um, vega 
mega helmet the studs helmet the steel bird helmet etc you can say all these helmets come under the normal category these helmets uh, are isi mark few of them have tried attaining the certification of dot and ece i would recommend all city riders to use this helmet because this helmet will save your life someday if you are involved in a crash this kind of helmet can save your life these helmets are good enough for city riding however i would not recommend these helmets for uh, highway riding or highway cruising so city riding yes but for highways a big no no these helmets do not work if you are going on highways you will achieve speeds in excess of 100 120 140 or even further so for those types of speeds or to protect yourself from a crash on the highway you have to have a premium helmet there is no compromise to this rule the uh, helmets or the brands or the companies that manufacture these kind of helmets are that are available in the indian market could be the ls2 it could be the mt it could be the axor and various other brands you can say however these are the most commonly available uh, premium helmets in the Indian market we will discuss about these as we go further in the video I have seen a lot of people spending a humongous amount of money on bikes however when it comes to a helmet they just compromise I mean they they buy any cheap helmet uh, branded or not branded they don't care they just buy that helmet so that they can get saved or they do not get incurred a chalan that kind of uh, attitude or that kind of uh, thinking could be dangerous i would request you to allocate five percent of the total spending on your bike towards your helmet because it is the primary safety equipment for any rider now i i own a bajaj domina 400 so i cannot compromise on safety and helmet being the first priority i have uh, use different types of helmets i can say i own the mt thunder 3 helmet let me show that to you right now so this this is my helmet this is what i own so as i've mentioned i've previously used an ls2 helmet and this is the ls2 helmet that i owned previously as you can see it's been two years and it is battered pretty badly um, so as you can see the padding of the LS2 helmet when compared to the MT's padding it's pretty uh, off or it is pretty off the mark so this is one of the reasons why I went for a new helmet I went for the uh, empty helmet and the other reason was there is there are no speaker pockets in this helmet and I needed to install the Lexton intercom that I had I did not have any speaker pockets for me to install them onto the LS2 these are the two major reasons why I went ahead with the empty helmet going further in the video you will see the quality of the mt helmet and then you can compare the mt with the ls2 you will know the difference there are rumors in the market from the distributors themselves that you know there are many counterfeit ls2 helmets that are coming up in the market i i mean i simply cannot trust the brand once again for the quality of the padding they lost my trust there and now with you know a lot of con counterfeits in the market I did not want to take a chance and that's the reason why I went for the empty helmet and one more thing that I would like to mention so when you see the LS2 helmet properly you will see a ECE certification sticker at the rear end of the helmet no 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 this is a big no I do not trust stickers if you check empty it's a whole different game altogether so this is one of the reason why I went for empty I mean just sticking a EC certification sticker I don't think that it makes this helmet uh, EC certified or I do not think that I mean I have to be very frank I do not think that this helmet is genuine so these are a few reasons why I went ahead with the empty helmet and not the LS2 or for ma that matter some other brand I even researched about the SMK helmet they were in my budget they were in my range however when i you know dug a little deeper i found out the quality of the padding of smk helmets was not great either there is a video by another youtuber which denotes or which shows 
the comparison between LS2 and SMK and he says that the padding of LS2 is way better than uh, SMK and for me the padding of MT is much better than LS2 he said that he had cleaned his SMK helmet once and he was not able to fix the padding back in in his proper position in his proper proper place and thus he took the uh, helmet to the showroom even the showroom guy was not able to fix the padding back to its original form so that alarmed me that you know i will not go for smk and i've already given you reasons as to why i did not go for ls2 so these are the major reasons why i went ahead with the mt another great recommendation i can make is axor helmets i have heard that the padding on the new axor helmets the 2019 and 2020 versions is pretty awesome it's pretty great uh, i mean when you uh, wear the helmet it's a snug fit and the the padding of the helmet does not wear as much as ls2 or for that matter smk if you are in the indian market and you would like to go for a budget helmet mt axis or uh, axor these i would recommend these three helmets from my personal experience so that is it for the first part of the video i hope you'll enjoyed the first part of the video if you did enjoy it please do hit like comment share and subscribe and also the next part will be the complete or the comprehensive review about the mt helmet see you in the next video ciao